side. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, presenting the challenger, Misha Sarkunov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last defender of the All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Beautiful hook. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Spinning back fist is there. Beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Misha Serpil. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed with the left there. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Nice leg kick there by Adesanya. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Sirkunov. Big kick lands. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea, maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's gotta try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind up, yeah. there's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, Blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. 
Nice kick there by Adesanya. Serkunov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And he landed the right hand there. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, single collar tie here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, man. These are starting to hurt me, and I'm not getting punched. Just continual punishment with that hook. I mean, how many times can he land this strike before his opponent understands that he has to protect himself? It won't take many more. He better make an adjustment. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Adesanya. Ooh, what a punch. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. Serkunov's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the... Wow! The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 79 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And connecting on just 35% of his attempts against the Canadian Misha Serpin. Adesanya gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Israel Adesanya gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, he lands that tee. Serkunov's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Clean left punch followed by the right. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. You got to check these low leg kicks. Head kick. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Serkunov's lower jaw is just nasty at this Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh. Oh. Wow. Back to the feet. Missed with that right hand. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches. More of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. 
Serkunov gets caught with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he lands another punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner. Oh! That's it! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality, so if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has...